Okay, and then now we have another verse. Romans 8, 1 and 4. Let me see, did I put the Bible verse here? Okay, it's here, I'm sorry. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. In verse 4, that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Now here you can see the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us. So God wants us to fulfill the law. Okay, so it's very clear from many passages that we do obey the law, but we don't obey the Mosaic ceremonial law. Like today when we sin, we don't bring an ox to offer to God. We don't, do, we don't offer animal sacrifice to forgive our sins. That is in the Old Testament ceremonial law. So, uh, so here we understand that we are to uh, fulfill the righteous requirement of the law. Okay, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Now, to not walk according to the flesh, that means do not sin, do not follow the sinful nature, but live according to the Holy Spirit. Now, we are not saved by obeying, but everyone who is saved will obey. That is the fruit of salvation. So there is no, now no condemnation at all for those who are in Christ Jesus who follow the Holy Spirit and don't follow the flesh. And then the righteous requirement of the law of, is fulfilled in us, who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the Spirit. So the righteous requirement of the law is now fulfilled. Okay, so what do we see here? What we see here is that uh, God's nature, God's nature is holiness. He is holy. And He has the ability to work in people to move, the Holy Spirit can move in people so that they will obey the law. Okay, so God has this nature and ability and His grace. He will give us salvation. He uh, doesn't condemn us. There's now no condemnation. He doesn't condemn us because of Jesus Christ. Jesus has died for us. So for everyone who trusts in Jesus, there is no condemnation. And these people also will walk according to the Spirit, not according to the flesh. So these people would follow God's way. So God's work is that He will change these people. He gives salvation to these people and He will help these people to obey the Holy Spirit. And He will not condemn, condemn those people who trust in Jesus as a Savior and who walk according to the Spirit. So when we think of salvation, don't think of it just, I believe in Jesus, I have salvation. Faith is never alone. Faith doesn't just exist alone. It will exist together with good works. It will change and then we'll follow the work of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit will guide us, will change us so that we'll obey Him. And then uh, the warning is that when we don't obey God, that means we will have problem with, uh, uh, in the relationship with God and the person can fall away from God and lose salvation and can face condemnation. And uh, how can we have this, uh, you know, this no condemnation relationship, joyful relationship, a free relationship? That is when we uh, believe in Jesus, trust in Jesus in, as our Savior, and also we'll follow the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit moves us to love people, we'll love people. When the Holy Spirit moves us not to tell lies, then we stop telling lies. When the Holy Spirit moves us to do, do evangelism, then we do evangelism. Okay, so let's look at the outline here. Grace, God is a forgiving God. Uh, because Jesus has paid the price for all sins. He has paid the price. God has total forgiveness for those in Jesus. And people in Jesus would walk according to the Spirit. 
So because Jesus has paid a price, so now we have total forgiveness. And then people in Jesus, uh, God will walk, uh, work in them so that they will walk according to the Spirit. The Holy Spirit will work in their lives. And the Holy Spirit guides all born-again Christians to live a godly, uh, in a godly ways, in godly ways. Those who follow the Holy Spirit will have no condemnation. So the Holy Spirit will guide us so that we'll uh, live our life in godly ways and there will be no condemnation for us. And then why many Christians follow the flesh? Because they, uh, they get used to staying in the flesh and when they are converted, they don't follow God totally. They don't give up the worldly way. And the destructiveness when people follow the flesh, that there is always consequence. So we can tell people, but we don't want to just tell people the warning. We tell people the warning, yes, sin no more, lest the worst thing will happen to you. So terrible things can happen to people when people sin. So we need to tell people that, that when they sow to the flesh, they will reap destruction. There will be destruction to their life, to their marriage, to their family, to their spiritual life, to their ministry, to everything. And how? How can we live in Jesus and walk according to the Spirit? That we see Jesus as so, He's so wonderful, we trust in Jesus' salvation, and then we, when the Holy Spirit moves us, we'll obey Him, and we'll, we can encourage ourselves and say, when I obey the Holy Spirit, God is very happy with me and He'll bless me. So I'm happy today that I have listened to the Holy Spirit and I forgave someone and I, I was nice to someone. I tried to build a relationship with someone so that I can bring the gospel to them. So whatever we do these things, that we follow the Holy Spirit, we are very thankful. And we pay attention to the work of the Holy, Holy Spirit in us. We pay, pay attention to how the Holy Spirit is moving in my heart to change my life.